All right. Thank you all for tuning back in for another one. Uh, today, is I got a pretty exciting little project today. I, it's Labor Day 2020, and uh, it's the day that I don't have to work. And any day that I don't have to work is a good day. So I come out here right now before daylight and work. But uh, this is exciting stuff. This ain't the kind of stuff I do for a living. This is the kind of stuff that I like doing. And uh, today, I'm going to finish building the ignition system for my potato gun that I'm going to build. And I'm going to show you what we got going on. It's not a, just a little ticker out of a lighter. A little, I think they call them a PZO crystal or something. Uh, it ain't one of them. Uh, but it is going to be the ignition system for this potato gun. I probably won't shoot potatoes out of it. Probably be wet rags or or I'll probably shoot a potato or onion or whatever I can get down in that two inch pipe. But anyway, we're going to shoot it here in just a minute after I get it built. But it won't be but just a second for y'all. Uh, first off, let me show you the ignition system we have to ignite the gases in our combustion chamber. I'll give you a quick hint. Buzz coal. Buzz coal. Old ignition technology. Old stuff. It ain't nothing new. It may look fancy and newfangled, but this is old technology. Off of the battery comes through a switch. Eventually, I don't have one yet. And then the positive uh, power goes to the 5-pin relay. And uh, on the positive side, it goes in to number 30, which has got a switch leg that goes from 30 to 87 at rest. 87A, I'm sorry. It goes from 30 to 87A. And when you energize it, it energizes a coil in there, and the switch leg goes from 87A to 87. Well, when it goes, when you energize it, and it goes from 87A, it energizes a coil, pulls the switch over to 87. As soon as the switch hits 87, this is jumped back to pin number 85 on your relay and when it jumps from here to back to here it kills the power going to here and the switch leg jumps back to here and when it jumps back to here it it, it uh, energizes the coil and it shoots back over here so what we've got is a is a really fast oscillation between 87a and 87 and it's self-working on the inside. If you know anything about relays, you know what I'm talking about. So just by getting to this point and grounding it, it's gonna be switching back and forth just as fast as the components inside the relay will let it go. And of course, coming out of, of a pin 30, going back around to the positive side of our ignition coil, we have a condenser in line here. And then just coming off of 86, you go up to the ground side of your battery. But let's move over here a little bit. And uh, you can see coming from here to the positive side of the ignition coil. Of course, we have a coil wire and a spark plug. Spark plug is grounded and uh, the coil itself is grounded to the system. So in theory, what we're going to have is a car battery here this relay oscillating just as fast as it can and as this oscillates as fast as it can in turn the ignition coil when you put a charge on ignition coil it holds it but when you take the charge off it allows the charge to come down to the spark plug so we need power here to oscillate on and off back and forth really fast to get the the effect that we're wanting. That's why we used this relay and jumped out leg 87 to 85. That way it'll be a self-working little on and off switch that goes really, really fast. Otherwise, you'd have to flip a switch back and forth and you would get one tiny little spark here every time you did it. Every time you hit a switch, it would tick, tick, tick if we just used this and didn't use the relay. So with the relay in line, we should get something like a welding arc right here across the across the spark plug. So, 
anyway let me swing you over and show you kind of what i got thrown together i just threw it together real fast to make sure it would work and uh i'll show you what we got quick disclaimer this is not a professional job whatsoever i went to town to get the pvc pipe for the for the potato onion turnip root launcher and that's all i bought uh, except for these i bought these here because i wasn't sure if i had enough but i used stuff i had laying around i took the coal and the in the the ignition coil and the condenser off of an old pickup I had, and the relay come out of another pickup that we had. So it's a uh, it's junkyard boneyard build. So don't don't critique me too much on my on my uh, on how it looks. Anyway, it ain't it ain't pretty, but it should work. All right, I'll start you right here with the alligator clips. This is going to be positive and negative on our battery for our power supply. It comes in all the way around to our relay here now this may look confusing uh and i guess it kind of is if you try to look at it all at one time but if you trace it out one after the other one uh wire after the other it's not really that that much to it come over here to the ignition coil it has a spark plug wire another alligator clip to ground the spark plug so through this system right here we should be able to maintain a welding arc like spark right there so let's carry it out to the uh, to the pickup and we'll plug it up to a car battery and uh, we'll see what happens all right here we go I got to set up on the on the under the hood of the old truck. You see, we got our clip here. This clip is just dangling around the where I'm gonna touch it to. I'm just gonna touch this alligator clip here to the positive post of the battery. But I'm gonna have y'all looking this way. Relay, condenser, ignition coil to the spark plug. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna try not to get shocked. There it is. There's the fire that we're looking for. All right, there we go. Our ignition system is gonna work. we're making our way right along this section here is going to be the the combustion chamber and I'm trying to find a way to thread this spark plug down in here somewhere and uh, I think what I've come up with is uh, on the front half of this coupling that'll give me the most support because I'm going through the coupling and the pipe and the threads are long enough to where I'll have a uh, yeah, there'll be plenty sticking out down in the bottom and with it like that when I spray my accelerant into the pipe I can make sure I get some on this uh, on the plug and that'll give us a good ignition so what I'm doing is kind of measuring up my threads on the spark plug that's just to the outside of the threads and this drill bit right here will give me a, uh, it's a good bit smaller. So what I'm thinking, I can drill a hole in here and then maybe try to get that started and even heat this up with a lighter and uh, and actually thread it into there where it, where it kind of, where the heat softens the PVC where I can get a good thread and it'll be a real good seal. And if I heat this up to where it melts threads in here, that'll be good for you know, when I file the plug out and I need to change plugs, I'll uh, I'll be able to, to change it out right quick. I'll have some good established threads in the combustion chamber. All right, we're back at the truck. We got the launcher hooked up. I got the spark plug threaded 
through the coupling and through the pipe and we have we have fire all right there we go we're getting close Right, the wiring is cleaned up. The uh, cannon is is ready. It's ready. We're ready to shoot something. I present to you the Potato Launcher 1.0. There she is, in all her glory. Spark plug, ground, all my wiring is in the ammo can. All I need is a hot battery, and I can launch potatoes or whatever fix and try to shoot an apple across the pond but it's a little bit too big so I'm having to resize it to get it down in there okay we set up that's gonna go with a little persuasion oh yeah stick we're gonna push that apple all the way down to the to the hush puppy okay let's see what to do here I'm gonna put y'all on a stand where I can use both hands another apple in there I'm gonna aim the cannon that way that we shoot across the pond hairspray get a good bit of it in. get behind some cover we're finna try to launch an apple here we go three two one Woo! Ha! did I get that on camera I think I did that was about a 60 I think from where we're at to where that apple landed was about 60 yards with a little shot of hairspray that just, that just makes my whole day right there. I am happy. This is my happy face. We just shot an apple 60 yards with a little poof of hairspray. I hadn't even seen it yet. I was crouched down behind the truck. I thought the pipe was going to explode because it clearly states on the side of that three inch pipe, not for pressure. So I was a wee bit nervous and still am a little bit, but there we go 60 yards shot apple uh, I don't know I know I'm happy though anyway thanks for watching please subscribe if you like it we got plenty more coming down the pipe y'all take care see you next time